Sorry. I just thought that was cool. <laughs> This is the girliest thing that I do. You know, sometimes I wish that I were like more like modern some sometimes like I wish that I could like apply makeup and be like smoking hot and then I remember like you're not like this like you're the complete opposite of this and I feel like I don't know if it's some sort of dysphoria or like a disassociation or something like that because like I'm totally aware of it you know I'm totally aware of the fact that I'm in this fantasy about being a completely different person. Um, but, I, you know, when I was young, it always made more sense to just live in my head. Because, you know, I always had the sneaking suspicion that whatever I was fantasizing about, if I, if I ever tried to acquire that in the real time, I wouldn't be able to acquire it. Because I wasn't supposed to have it. And so, you know, I used to fantasize about, like, having friends and boyfriends it's just so weird to think about like that for so long I felt like my mind was consumed with this whole fantasy life of people that didn't even exist and this idea of myself that was not I mean, I, I do think that it is, on some level, like, a part of me. But it's not who I actually am. You know, who you actually are is, is who you are when you're alone. So, you know, like, I think that's why I have so many videos. Because I'm just a very radical person, I suppose. Like, I just have a lot going on. And it's not really like, oh, I want you to see it. It's, it's just more like maybe it would help you to see it. Maybe it would help you to see somebody actually living their life and not being this fucking contrived, artificial thingamajig that is obsessed with, like, feeding your dopamine deprived brain you know like I don't even think people have a brain anymore I mean I just don't get that impression people don't want to think anymore people don't they, they really just don't want to feel anything they always talk about thoughts so they don't ever have to talk about feelings and that's why they, they use liberals to make it seem like it's stupid to talk about feelings. It's really not. It's like a genuine part of your experience, and if you're denying it, you're just a fool. Like, you're a really dense person that probably doesn't have much self-awareness. You know? And I don't mean that to be mean. I'm saying that because I, I do think it's like some kind of disability if you don't have emotional intelligence. Because you can't see, like, how you're reacting to things and why you're reacting to things. And now you have these, these like avenues where, where you can just go and say all this stuff and you don't have to actually mean any of it. You don't have to be held accountable for anything that you say. So 
It's like, why would anybody expect the world to not be this shitty? You know, when, when that's a thing that people are doing on a regular basis. You know, when Twitter came out, I remember that it was just a website for, like, celebrities. So, celebrities promoting the stuff that they were doing. And then, of course, if you had a business, like, you could use Twitter to promote stuff that your business was doing. So, I saw this immediately, but I think that people are seeing it now. Where, like, if you take a site that's primarily for, like, famous people and people that are trying to make money through their business, and you let normal-ass people, the regular citizens of the world, use a website like this, of course, everybody's going to act like they're a celebrity. Everybody's going to act like they're super important. Everybody's going to act like they're running a business. But their business is running their mouth, right? So, it gives people this, like, false feeling of importance, this false feeling of superiority, and I understand that I probably seem like a piece of shit because, like, I'm over here, like, bad-mouthing people on these sites. And it's like, well, how am I, you know, engaging in my own private Twitter account? Well, if you look at the description, there's always a description in the video because I watch all these videos and I critique them. There's no way that I would not get the Self-Awareness Lifetime Achievement Award, okay? No fucking way. Let's pretend that that's an award. Let's pretend that people give a fuck about shit like self-awareness. Let's pretend that we live in that world, okay? But... The description box... is kind of like Twitter, like sometimes. It's like if I had a Twitter account, it would be very similar to that. Just be, it would be a tweet like that long. <laughs> but yeah, it's not good for boring people to have a Twitter account. It's not good for stupid people to have a Twitter account. It's not good for stupid people to have technology that's literally smart. That's not a smart move. Alright? It's like, if you know that you have a weight problem, like, you probably, like, shouldn't move into an apartment complex that's right across the street from a Taco Bell. You know? I'm just saying, like, if people were more aware of themselves and, like, the negative qualities that they possess, they wouldn't put themselves in the positions that they do on a regular basis to just dumb themselves down even more and make themselves even more unhealthy. But, once again, just like self-awareness ain't much of a virtue, I don't think the health is much of a virtue, you know, obviously. This is America, but I know that it's not much of a virtue anywhere else either. Based off of America's influence, you know, our standards are dwindling by the nanosecond. The good thing I exist.